What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be doing a full wear test on this Maybelline 24-hour Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. It's semi-new. I think it came out maybe three or four months ago. I always want to do foundation... Sorry, my ears itchy. I always want to do foundation reviews, but I feel like they're kind of overdone, and I don't want to do something that you've seen 9,000 times, even though maybe you want to see it from me. I don't know why, because I'm really not that exciting, but I'm going to do this one. Since I haven't seen it that much, I already got my hair pulled back so I can get my foundation on, and I already did my eyes because I always do them before I put my foundation on. And I haven't done my brows or anything yet. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that. My skin is very oily. Um, I'm pretty acne prone. And I like full coverage foundations. So I like that this one says full coverage. I think I've only seen one review on it. And it was pretty good. So hopefully my review will be pretty good too. But when I was at Target, I put a little bit on the back of my hand to try to find a good color for me. And literally put the tiniest drop. My hand was covered. I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is going to be like extremely full coverage, but that color that I got was too dark, so I ended up getting, um, this one is 130 Buff Beige. I think it's going to match my skin because it's one shade under the one that I put on my hand when it was too dark, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Hopefully it matches and hopefully it works good. I'm going to do half of my face with a beauty blender. I don't normally put my foundation on with a beauty blender because I don't really like it. I use this brush, but I'll do half and half. I'll probably end up going back over with the brush because I just like how the brush looks better. It looks more airbrushed rather than this. I feel like this kind of turns out blotchy and like patchy sometimes. I don't know, but everybody uses beauty blenders, so maybe that's just me. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and put some of this on. I will tell you my review. As I'm putting it on, you'll be able to watch me put it on and see what it looks like. And then I will be checking in again later on to see how it wore all day. You know, if I got super oily. I use the same primer that I always do. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I always do to make sure that I can truly give it, you know, an honest review of what I do daily. So I'm not going to like change my primer and do something different. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. It is really thick. I don't know if that's going to focus enough. You can see that it seems like really thick. Um, let's go ahead and put some on with the brush first. Okay, yeah, this is really thick. But already giving pretty good coverage for barely even putting any on yet. And this that I pumped on was barely even a whole pump. It was probably less than a half of a pump. So you really don't need to use a lot. Oh, maybe I should put my light ring on. You can probably see better, hopefully. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. I can never tell. All right, so that is the side with foundation. And this is the side without. You can see I'm breaking out everywhere. And I had quite a few breakouts over here, and it covered it really nice. This is actually, I think I might like this one, hopefully. See, this is the color that it turned out to be on my hand. It's a little darker than I am, so I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Now I'm going to do this side with the Beauty Blender. I just kind of put some on the Beauty Blender and just start going ham on my face. I know some people just dab the foundation on their face and then blend it in, but... I don't do things that most people do. Another reason I don't like beauty blenders is I use the same amount of a pump and I feel like it just doesn't have as nice of a coverage as it does when you use a brush. That was probably one pump altogether, half on this side, half on this side. And you can see the coverage is pretty good. This side is a little less full coverage because I use the Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna go back in with a little, little oh, this side looks like airbrushed. That looks nice. Maybe I'll turn this light ring off. It looks very pretty. So I'm gonna go back and put a little bit more on with this brush on both sides just to get more full coverage because I usually always do even with my Estee Lauder double wear which is super thick 
I usually put kind of like a coat and a half. I just cover up the areas that tend to be problematic for me. So I would say this is very full coverage. A little bit goes a really long way as I kind of figured out in the store when my hand was covered in it. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I know some people don't like full coverage front. Why is there hair stuck on me? Get off! Some people don't like full coverage foundations because they feel so heavy on the skin, but this one doesn't at all. And I mean, even on camera, you can see it kind of covered my dark circles and I didn't really touch on those. I gotta put my concealer on. But so far, I really like it. Let's zoom in. So this is my skin. You can see I got bumps everywhere. You can't see them from far away. But up close, this side is, of my face is always much better, except for around my mouth. But then there's my little forehead. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it doesn't look cakey or, you know, whoa, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't look cakey or anything. I'm going to put my concealer on and see how it works with my concealer. So I'm using Shart, Shart, Tarte Shape Tape as usual, because what else would I use? That's one coat of concealer. I always put two on because my circles are so bad that one just doesn't cover them. Okay, so it blends well with my concealer. I'll zoom you in. I have to set under my eyes and do my bronzer and whatnot, but I mean it doesn't, you know, some foundations don't really mesh well with some products, so I would say this one is pretty good. At least with shape tape it is. Oh my god, I'm having issues today, I'm sorry. No, oh my god, wrong way! <laughs> so I'm gonna go finish my makeup. Oh my god. I am so not good at this, I hope I get better. For your sake. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face, and then... I will check back in with you to say how it went with my bronzer and setting and everything. And then I will check back in again later. Alright, I'm back. I just finished up my makeup. I put on the rest of my face and my eyebrows and everything else and my setting spray. And overall, I do like it. It does set into my smile lines, which... Why won't it focus? I didn't expect it not to, because literally every foundation I've ever used does that. So it's pretty typical for me and I kind of just expect it because my smile line is really deep. It's only on that side. Other than that, I'll zoom back in so you can see more up close. It looks good. My face looks pretty smooth. My forehead is breaking out and you really can't tell. I'm also breaking out really bad over here but you can't tell. So it covers things very nicely and I like it so far. I'm gonna go the rest of the day, I gotta go to the gym and all that kind of stuff. So I'll check back in with you after that, but so far so good. All right, I am back for a little check-in. It's been, I think three hours, maybe four. I'm not sure, I just ate dinner. I don't really know time, cause I didn't remember the time that I put this on, but I think it's somewhere around there. Anyways, it's a little bit oily, which is expected for me because my face is one giant ball of grease constantly. So normally I would oil blot by now, but I didn't because I wanted to give you a legit review of how it worked on my skin. So as you can see, it's a bit oily. Maybe you can't really tell in the pictures or on my camera, but it is a little bit oily. My T-zone mainly. I would say I have like an eye zone, like a capital I, because it's here, here, and all here is where I get oily. And it has set into my smile line a lot more, which is an easy fix. Where is my little blender? You just blend it out and there, it's less noticeable. I mean, I always have that, so I'm used to it. My skin overall looks good. It hasn't separated. It's not patchy. It doesn't look like crap or anything. So, so far I'm liking it. I will check in again after the gym. I just kind of wanted to give you a midday check-in 
and yes I wear makeup to the gym I know it's bad but I've done it for six years so why would I change now I'm not going to no anyways I will check in again with you after the gym and we will see how it looks then all right friends I'm back to give you my final thoughts on the foundation I just got back from the gym as you can see I mean you can't really tell in this lighting or maybe it's just really not yet yeah, it's a little bit shiny as yeah you can see it there my nose is pretty shiny the smile line is back my forehead is shiny mostly my t-zone but that's expected I just got back from the gym so I'm not complaining about it so overall I give this foundation probably like a 7 out of 10 because it stays on really nice it doesn't get super oily even though it doesn't say that it's oil free or anything it just says seamless matte finish breathable and comfortable fade and transfer resistant oh it does say oil free doesn't clog pores dermatologist tested up to 24 hour wear obviously I didn't wear it for 24 hours because I don't think I would ever wear foundation for 24 hours I don't know why they advertise things like that like 24 hours 25 hours who's actually wearing foundation for that long anyways as I was saying I do like it probably about a 7 out of 10 it didn't get super oily it didn't separate it didn't get all patchy and it didn't oxidize which I really like I appreciate foundations that don't oxidize because I feel like most of them do now so you always have to get a shade or two lighter so it's nice that this is actually true color and doesn't get all orangey that's just the worst look the well, yeah I definitely recommend it I think it was $9.99 maybe I don't know I'll put the price somewhere in here I'm sure it'll be down in the description box below but yeah I'm glad I did my first foundation whole day wear thing I didn't wear it as long as I normally would because I was off work today and I ended up doing my makeup like later in the day but I will definitely do this again when I wear my next foundation for a whole day and I'll just continue to do things like this if you people like it I mean I like hearing about foundation and how it works on people's skin and as I mentioned before I'm oily that's really my only concern oily and acne prone so if you have similar skin to me then yeah maybe you'll relate to me and these will be helpful for you but anyways I'm gonna go wash my face and I'm gonna go eat and then go to bed soon maybe edit this a little bit maybe just a little bit isn't it sad at the end of the day when you have to wash off your makeup? Like, I worked hard on that art, and now I just gotta wash it off? Okay, I'm gonna go do what I just said I'm gonna go do. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I love you, bye.